Did I lose people from my life after I got diagnosed with cancer? I thought I would talk about this question because I hear other patients talk about it a lot. About the fact that after you get diagnosed, it can feel kind of isolating after all of the support kind of wears off and goes away. When you're first diagnosed, there's the shock of it all. This is usually the time when family and friends are extremely supportive and everybody's there rallying behind you. I've been in that position and it made me feel incredibly loved. But what's not talked about very often is what happens after that. This is something that varies for every patient and obviously it's going to be based on your support in your community. But I thought I'd share a little bit of my perspective here and what my experience has been because having cancer can feel really isolating. And honestly, it's easy to take it personally when people start to disappear from your life. So in my experience, after I got diagnosed, did I lose people from my life? I personally don't label it that way. I don't think I've lost anybody from my life. But did the way I interacted with certain people change? Absolutely. I got diagnosed in kind of the height of the pandemic, which meant even when people wanted to be there for me, sometimes they couldn't be. And after so many turned down invites, you stop getting invites. There's also people that I consider myself close with that I may not hear from all the time. And when I first got diagnosed, I kind of thought if these people weren't reaching out to me, did that mean they didn't care? And then there's a whole category of people who I felt actively distanced themselves. These are people that couldn't always read my post updates or honestly probably got fatigued of listening to me talk about cancer. But here's why I don't take any of that stuff personally. Having cancer is heavy and hard. When I got diagnosed, I knew it wasn't just hard for me, it's hard for all of the people who loved me too, right? It's a hard topic to think about. And sometimes I think people are so worried about trying to make sure that they say the right thing that sometimes that might prevent them from saying anything at all. Cancer aside, I know I have a hard time responding to people that I really care about because I wanna make sure I give the response the proper time and attention. And then it kind of just drifts off because I never make it back to it in time. I personally think that this happens with cancer patients too. During some of my darkest and hardest times, I took this shift in these relationships personally, but I found myself much happier once I accepted the change in this dynamic. And honestly, I feel like it's helped these relationships continue to thrive for me because I don't hold any resentments and there's no guilt coming from the other side. I am in a much better place now than I know many other patients are, but that's exactly why I wanted to share some of this because over the last year, I've had the chance to rekindle some of those relationships and not a single one stopped caring. More often than not, I've seen that some people just didn't know how to show their support. I think when we need support, verbalizing how best we want to receive it can really help. I also think it's important to recognize that just because people aren't around doesn't mean that they don't care.